Okay, fellow babies, welcome back to Packer Factor on Sifted.net. Thank you so much for your patronage if you're if you're supporting us on Patreon. Thank you so much if you have connected your Twitch account to your Amazon Prime account. Uh, remember to relink those, re-up that link every month or so. We get paid every month that you remember to do that. And if you're a uh, YouTube subscriber, we appreciate it. All those are getting us paid so Shane can afford to keep producing these. I'm not getting paid, but I appreciate that you're allowing Shane to give me a forum. Um, so predictions for 2021. Look, I think that people don't appreciate that the shelter in place restrictions that we started in 2020 are gonna persist well into 2021. So I think the game companies are gonna mint money. Um, I think that you're gonna have modified shelter in place for six months in 2021. And uh, you know, I think that that as the COVID curve is growing on its way toward the end of 2020, it'll decline in 2021, but it's going to take a while. And the vaccinations aren't going to be fast. And I think everybody forgets that the the most prominent of the vaccines that have been announced so far take two two shots 30 days apart, and after the second shot takes 14 days. So from the first shot till you have antibodies and you are COVID resistant is six weeks. Um, so if you get a shot January 1st, you're not cool to go out into public until February 15th. Most of us are getting shots between April 1st and June 30th. So we're going to be pretty sketchy through June 30 and into, you know, probably July or August. And so we're going to be just like this for another six months. I mean, it'll, it'll be modified. We'll be able to eat outdoors and we'll have masks, but life's not returning to normal. And I don't think the workplace returns. So, so my biggest prediction is that the game companies thrive and we are going to have more time at home. We're going to spend it playing games. We're going to support more and more and more games. And I think that success of companies like Epic with Fortnite begat success of companies like Activision with Call of Duty Warzone. So I expect more of that. I think you're going to get Apex on mobile phones and it's going to be cross-platform play with Apex on console and it won't be as fun, but you can play with your grandpa and he can be, you know, mopping up in the back or, or scrounging for shit and helping your, your squad, even though he's not going to be good at any of the skills. Um, but I think you're going to see, you know, more and more and more cross-platform. I think that's really healthy and brings more gamers in. Um, I actually think that, you know, games like Minecraft and Roblox are going to continue to grow. So I think you're going to get more and more, you know, younger people playing a lot more hours. I think those people are going to graduate to fun, free-to-play games, and they're going to ultimately graduate to premium games. So I think we're expanding the market. 21 is the year of market expansion and the year that we see a lot more. Um, I actually think that you're going to see uh, a, a much greater emphasis on mobile. Um, I think mobile, because the, the, the um, mobile phones are so powerful now, mobile game experiences are getting great. And the one thing I'd really like to see mobile game companies do is synchronous play and allowing uh, users to watch other people play. And, and that, by the way, technologically, you can do that right now, but nobody lets that, lets that happen. So I play a bunch of mobile games and, you know, things happen when you're asleep and you just find out you lost. I'd like to be able to view who attacked me and what they did. I'd like to learn from what they did. It'll make me better. That's all doable and that's happening. So I think mobile, you're gonna get a really big expansion of mobile game technology in 2021. I think that that's gonna make mobile games stickier. Um, I think that the shift of advertising away from conventional broadcast media like televisions and radio, television and radio is gonna accelerate the shift toward advertising and games. And I think that's going to be fascinating and that's more revenue for the game companies. I think the game companies have to get over themselves and not worry if they let you watch an ad in a game that that's going to cause you to never play their game again. Um, they can be like television and they can charge you a little more not to have ads. And I think free to play games especially should be ad supported and you're going to get more and more of that. I don't know that we're going to be vaccinated in time for E3 to be held the second week in June. Um, if the ESA is smart, and I think that they are, 
they will entertain moving E3 to someplace in September because I think that, we, and we're going to certainly know by February or March if we're going to have enough vaccinations and the rate at which people would be vaccinated. So I'm hopeful that they pick a week in September and decide to move E3 to September. And the game companies should be relieved because their games will be ready to show by then anyway. And assuming that E3 can pull it off at the LA Convention Center, that would be great. Um, and they probably can't because it's not really a huge demand. You know, the first guy to pick a convention date is going to get it. Um, but I hope that they move it to September and we have an E3 and we get back into the groove. And maybe they'll learn from that that we should do it in September every year. And we'll get back into that groove and the and because the publishers all support like tokyo game show which is kind of in there and and uh gamescom they support those which are august september kind of events so e3 fitting in there would actually be more productive and you know so i i hope that that happens um but again this is all COVID. we gotta wait and see how bad um we, one thing we don't want is we don't want to have a convention that costs lives so you know, everybody has to be prudent about it. Uh, expect that it'll take care of itself. I don't expect any meaningful hard, hardware introductions in 2021. It's too soon. Um, yeah, we would have heard something if they were close. I, I mean, I hear, but I, you know, I don't think it matters. Um, anyway, so I, I'm hopeful you guys uh, stay safe and sane. Thank you for joining us on Pactor Factor in 2020. Thank you to our Patreon patrons. You guys have, you know, allowed Shane to eat. He's losing weight, but he's he's not emaciated yet. Um, thank, and thank you, thank you for those of you who join your Twitch Prime account to your Amazon Prime account. Keep linking it; it gets us paid. Just remember to renew that. The instructions are in the show description. Um, if you're following us as a YouTube supporter, subscri subscriber, we appreciate it. And all of you have to follow me on Twitter. Please uh, shout out that you are following me because I guilted you into it. And I, I promise I will retweet you. Um, thanks for joining us. Have a happy new year. And we will talk to you next time.